so what we're doing here is we are going to be ripping off the shingles from this roof. Um, but first we want to make sure that the ground is completely covered because it's a top pr priority for us to make sure that we're not dropping any nails or leaving any debris, especially winter time. We've got the snow, things sink through the snow and it's hard to get them out. So we're laying all these tarps. Um, this is all a part of a catch-all system, catching all the debris that falls off the roof. So normally we would take long poles and run them up along the house, clip all the tarps onto them. But with this, because this house is getting recited, um, all I'm doing is taking some nails and just nailing it into the plywood. And that way, anything that falls off is gonna hit these tarps and stay here. And we're not gonna have any leftover nails um, for the customers to find in the spring when the snow is gone. So yeah, it's a huge priority for us to keep the ground clean, and make sure that everything is looking good on our job sites. We're getting some more tarps laid down, but Johnny's going to explain to us why we're tarping this side so efficiently and so well. Yeah, so basically why we're tarping so well is because they have um, livestock like goats and other animals and you don't want goats or anything eating nails that we drop or shingles. So. Yeah, that's basically why we're tarping super well. Yeah, so nails come down, we have it like 12 feet out here with tarping, so nothing's going to skip way off the roof, and then come springtime they find yeah. it and goats swallow and eat anything, so yeah. got to keep the nails out of their system. Yeah. <laughs>